All right, so here's our next section of the fireplace rendering. Now, while I was waiting for that last segment to upload, I started doing a little bit of colored pencil on this side here. Um, I haven't done any over here, but I wanna, I left that so you could watch me do it. This is, here's what it looks like already, meh, mostly done. I'd say 80% done. So what I'm using is three shades of brown, I also have a blue-gray, I have a Prussian blue, and I have black. The only place I'm putting black is inside the firebox, that's going to be the soot, all right? Um, the blue I'm using on these more orangey-brown uh, stones because we want to have some complementary colors for the shadows. It gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more sophisticated uh, use of color. So blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel, so we're going to have some blues in here. Um, I am not liking this yellow stone at all, and now I'm starting to think, I'm trying to get up the courage to uh, take my sand and just go over it. Um, I did a test up here. It doesn't look too terrible, and I'm going to be really brave and try to do this. So we're going to just do a coat of sand over this. Now you can see it's smearing. I've already got colored pencils on here and that's smearing. But I just wanna, I wanna tone down this yellow. It's too bright and I don't like it. I think this is gonna give us a better effect. But you have to be really careful that uh, the solvent in the marker is um, smudging the colored pencil that I already had on there. But yeah, I think this was the right call. This is looking a lot less um, like a patchwork quilt. It's not the look I was going for. All right, so that's better. All right, let's clean this off up here, and then we're going to go over this and tone down that yellow just very lightly, single coat. That way it doesn't look quite so patchworky. That's a little bit better. Okay, now let's get to work on some of these. Um, I'm going to be using predominantly uh, these two, uh, bronze and a Van Dyke brown. So on the more yellow ones, I'm going to be using the bronze. On the more orangey ones, I'm going to be using the Van Dyke brown. So what I'm going to do to start is use the colored pencil to hide my graphite pencil. So you can't really see that actual pencil mark and then I'm gonna come in and give myself some shadows on the lower part of the stone and this can be rough it's okay all right let's switch this is a little bit more yellowy I'm gonna come in also with the blue later this is mostly just to get uh, the beginnings of some texture and some shadowing on these stones. And I am varying the pressure of the pencil as I go. All right, so we've got a couple here. Let's get next um, blue-gray and Prussian blue. And if I come in here and put a little bit of this Prussian blue, which is kind of a, it's a warm blue, it's got a little bit of green in it, which is fine because I'm gonna have green in the rest of my room, so it's gonna kind of tie in together. And I'm using the grayer tone on the more yellowy stones because I don't want to turn it green. Could put a little bit gray down here too. One thing I haven't talked about yet is the mortar. I did that while uh, I did that off camera, so um, I just used the same French gray. That makes a great mortar color. All right, so I'm just going to go around and smudge them a little bit. 
um, get a little bit of shadows in here with the colored pencil. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to get my uh, black and I'm going to very gently have some cross hatching here to make it kind of smudgy and I'm going to make it dark in the corners where the soot would naturally be, you know, accumulating. Uh, I am not going to put fire in here. Fire is going to be a separate video. That's its own thing. Okay, so for right now, our little fireplace is empty. They do not have a fire right now. So um, in a minute, I'm going to come in probably in the next segment and put in a little bit of marker shadows in here. Um, or I might just stick with, maybe I'll just stick with the colored pencil. I'm not sure. Um, but there you go. There is uh, the next section of putting colored pencils on your stones.